Well, uh, yes, I, I think we, it's been fun to talk a little bit about magic squares. And uh, magic squares have fascinated uh, mathematicians and, and artists as well for many, for hundreds of years. And uh, I'd like to show you just uh, a, a print. It's called Melancholia One by uh, a German uh, artist. And in this, you can see a, a rather plump melancholy angel with various uh, mathematical devices. She's holding a pair of compasses in her hand. There's this complex geometrical object here. Uh, there's a sphere down here and then various uh, tools and objects. And also we can see a, a wonderful comet and a, and a rainbow. Time is passing. And up in the top right, uh, right hand corner, we have uh, a uh, magic square. And if we zoom in on this, it's written in sort of slightly old fashioned symbols, but somewhere. Okay, so this is uh, written out in, in modern versions of the numerals, uh, the magic square that appears in Dürer's uh, painting of Melancholia 1. And if you, if you look at this, uh, you'll see that all of the uh, rows, so this row, if you add those numbers up, 16 plus 3 plus 2 plus 13 adds up to 13, 4, 34. And if we look down this column here, 13, uh, 3 plus 10 plus 6 plus 15, that adds up to 34. Uh, and then if we look along the diagonal, if I remember correctly, that's 26. Uh, and then that's also 34. And this diagonal is also 34. And we've got a 4 by 4 square here, notice. And we've used the first 16 numbers uh, to fill uh, that square. Uh, that's your typical magic square. Now, this one really fascinates me. Uh, I've got it hanging up uh, at home. And um, I was looking at it one day, only a couple of... Uh, weeks ago, in fact, and I discovered something that I've never seen before, and I've looked around on, uh, on Wikipedia and not, not seen any reference to it. But if you uh, add all the numbers in Melancholia, so if you add all the numbers of, of the magic square, and we've seen that each, col each of the four columns has 34, so if we take 4 times uh, 34, we get 136. And then if we look for one more number in Melancholia, it's called Melancholia 1. And if I add 1, uh, to 136, I get 137. Oh, and this is approximately equal to what upon alpha, my friend, the fine structure constant, which tells us the ratio of uh, the strength of the uh, electrical force to the quantum. <laughs> Are you suggesting there's some, some, some meaning or something? No, no, it's purely coincidence. But I, well, I think it's purely coincidence, but it's very, I think it's very funny. And it's not very widely known, so... I, I, I'd be great if we can put it into 60 symbols and do, do, do word squares. Yeah, I mean, I've been fascinated with these things if, since I've been a kid, and I played around seeing if I could make them, and I started off with a nice, simple, odd 3x3 three three number square. And I wanted to try and make all the rows and columns add up. And I think th this, the, the, the rather plump angel here just looks like a physicist, and she's obviously worried about infinities or, or integer numbers or the volume of this and thinking about spheres, or maybe she's seen this comet on the rainbow and wondering about it. It's just a delight to a physicist to see it. So I find them, she looks very patient just thinking away the problems and that's what we have to do. And when we get a bit melancholic and depressed, we have to press on with our calculations and do our experiments. So I find it just inspiring. <laughs>